Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing good and um, I just woke up and this is how I look early morning. And it's not that early, it's something around 9. So yeah, I woke up and then I went to the washroom and I was charming. So um, I thought I would make a video and I guess you all know what I'm gonna do today. I'm just not gonna show how to put and how did I put and all those, okay? I mean, I'm just gonna tell you all how menstrual cups are used. Uh, but I guess like um, almost everyone knows what menstrual cups are. So the women, they already started using. I mean, I guess you all also use it. But then I just wanted to share my experience um, on, uh, on like using a menstrual cup for the first time so um i'm just gonna use it and i'm gonna get back to you so this is the brand from where i got menstrual cup and um yeah these are the instructions and <clears throat> i'm just not gonna read it okay uh i guess like i feel now everyone knows about menstrual cups so i'm just like making this and there's a cute pouch and there goes my menstrual cup which i got in my favorite color <laughs> also <clears throat> so yeah this is the menstrual cup um i got this in size medium which i think is absolutely fine i mean like the size is good so there are like many ways to fold this and um to fold this and like to put it inside our vagina obviously uh, when you put it um this remains down there i've seen like many folds like um like this one and then like it goes like this and then like like this and then like just put it and then when you put it like when you put it okay i'm just gonna show it like when you put it it just goes and then it pops out and then it dips it inside and you're just gonna pull it down also um i guess like you should be, be careful when you put it out because like it might just spill out so yeah you can use this for 10 years i'm gonna use it okay so first we're gonna we have to wash this before using it okay we have to wash this and then um after washing it we have to boil this obviously i cannot boil like my mom's gonna freak out if i if she sees me boiling in the kitchen so, um you can just take um a hot boiling water in a bowl or a glass something and then like just put it inside and then cover it for five minutes and then like just take it out um do this thing and then like fold it and then put it inside um you know do not use it like just don't try to put it inside when you're not in your periods okay let's go I'm using a menstrual cup now. I'm gonna tell you how I'm feeling right now, okay? So, um, after I I inserted the cup, um, I kind of felt numb. Like, my abdomen was kind of numb. And, and I was, like, kind of uncomfortable to walk. First, I tried with the C-fold. It didn't go. And then I tried the punch fold. It went half through. Then again, I took it out, and um, and at last time I tried another fold. I don't know what's that fold called, but then uh, I guess that's that's like the smallest fold which I could do like this much. And then I I was able to. I googled it, and then I saw many folds before using it. So uh, yeah, I was able to insert that fold which was quite easy. I'm just gonna vlog uh, until I take it out because um, I just wanna update you guys. I never thought that I would make a video on this, but then, um, you know, I thought I should make one for the girls, I mean, for the women 
who want to use it and then maybe they are like just scared to use or maybe um, they are like just curious to know more about and uh, I just want to give that clear explanation or something so that's why I, I thought of making a video menstrual cups are like really good because they last for 10 years and you don't need to change it like uh, frequently as you change your sanitary napkins if you use menstrual cups instead of sanitary napkins you are saving the mother earth that i guess this everyone knows because like uh, sanitary napkins are made of plastics and um also it's made of up of that ultra gel or something which i think is like quite bad not that bad but then it is quite bad for the environment and also for us if we wear it for a long time so mm, yes <laughs> now uh now that i'm talking about periods also um, i wanna share some tips if you all don't know like girls they already know what to do during periods and whatnot and if you guys guys i mean the boys if you are watching this and if your wife or if your girlfriend or if your sisters are or whoever okay or your mom is like they are on periods and they're like having cramps and if you really want to help them you can you know uh give them the hot water bag uh to keep there on the stomach or also if you don't have that you can use um you can boil the water and then you can use the towel you can like dip into the hot water squeeze it and then place it in their abdomen and that's that's helpful also i heard that ice packs are really helpful during periods but i never tried it um yeah that's it one tip i want to give you all during periods is like drink as much water as you can like i always drink a lot of water and that's how i don't get any period pain like i sometimes i do get like during my first day or the second day but um it doesn't like I don't get that pain like like you know that severe pain mm, and also i want to suggest you all like ah there's so much of noise i suggest you all not to eat not to take any uh painkillers or any type of pills during like for your period i don't think it's good to take medicines during period cramps like i don't know i feel chocolates are best during periods <laughs> i don't like i don't feel like you know just sitting i always have that energy or that mood to do something there's so much of noise okay after that i took a hot water bath and i was just drying my hair and maybe I think I was thinking about something, but I don't know what was I thinking about. I just woke up. I had my lunch around 2. And then after that, I was so sleepy. I was so, so, so damn sleepy. So, um, yeah, I slept. And then it's around 6. 15 right now and yeah i guess now it's time to um take the menstrual cup out and then um throw the blood i don't think it's full but then um i don't know i'm like i just want to see it okay so i took it out it scared me when i was taking out because i couldn't find the tip okay like i was not able to find the tip and then i was like shit do i need to go to the doctor because i couldn't find like i could feel it i could feel the tip but then like i just couldn't find it and also i had these long nails and then uh i really didn't know what to do i just got a thing on my mind like how you know the pregnant woman how they take the baby out right so even i 
And when I did, I spread my legs and then I gave some pressure and then the tip was out. And then um, I the tip was out and then I just wiggled it a bit, like um, a little bit and then and then it was out like the base is like I could feel the base and then I just took it out like that and, and it was out and it was a relief I spent like 10 or 15 minutes to search for the tip like I couldn't even find it it scared me so much to find the tip so I just washed it and then now I'm using a sanitary napkin I don't want to use a sanitary, sanitary napkin now but then I'm just using it because like it just scared me Good morning a new day a new beginning and my second day <sighs> so yeah last night I had I thought a lot if I should uh, use the menstrual cup or the sanitary napkin and then I just had a thought about you know, how uh, uncomfortable I was like when I when I had to use uh, the sanitary napkin when I menstruated for the first time so yeah but then I just got adapted to it so likewise I'm just gonna get adapted to a uh, menstrual cup when I use it every month and like every day I mean whenever I'm on my periods so yeah and uh, when I told my friends that uh, I started using it, they had few questions like, did it pain? And did I feel uncomfortable? And like, you know, like how does it feel and all. So yeah, uh, when I was inserting and when I was taking it out, it did not pain. It did, it does not pain. But then, uh, you know, I kind of felt, un uh, I kind of felt uncomfortable, uh, but then, um, but then later I was like fine I didn't even realize that I was I had a cup inside my vagina when uh, I had to insert it and then when I had a problem and all I took help from Matri Disha that's a page on Instagram uh, you, all, you all can surely like follow them if you have any questions about uh, menstrual cycle or about uh, anything related to sex and like you're yeah, just scared or like just curious to know more about it like you can surely dm them and ask them for help they are they'll be like ready to help you all also follow them on instagram the link will be given in the description box below um also yep today is mother's day and um like i'm very glad i'm also making a video on periods like, periods has always been one of my um favorite topic to talk about i don't know why so um i really want to thank all the mothers out there who work so hard for us and like you know like you all are super super moms you all are super humans no you all are you all are you all are super heroes super moms super super women <laughs> so i want to thank you all moms out there and um you know and without periods like no we don't get babies without periods we all know that oh my god i no no like no no reproductive no chapter nine no no page one four six or something <laughs> okay so um yeah and that's it for today and happy mother's day once again and also i hope you all like my video um if you all liked it do like and share and subscribe if you are new to my channel and uh also do comment till then bye bye take care stay safe and lots of love